Hello, I'm Dr. Andino, urologist and sexual medicine specialist. Today I want to talk to you about a condition that can be painful, serious, and not often talked about, priapism. You may know it as an erection that lasts too long, but there's more to it than that. In this video, I'll explain the types of priapism, how to spot it, what causes it, and the treatments that can help. Let's get started. Priapism is when you have an erection that lasts more than four hours and isn't caused by sexual activity. It may not seem like an emergency, but it is. Without treatment, priapism can cause lasting damage to the penis. Not every long lasting erection is dangerous, but if it lasts more than four hours or if it hurts, you should see a doctor right away, even if that means going to the emergency department. There are three main kinds of priapism. Ischemic priapism is also called low flow. This is the most common and the most serious. Blood gets trapped in the penis and can't flow out. It's usually painful and needs quick treatment. Non-ischemic priapism is also called high flow priapism. This is more rare, usually painless, and often happens after an injury to the groin. It is not as much of an emergency, but it still needs to be checked out. And there's also a third type of priapism called stuttering priapism. These are shorter, but still painful erections that come and go in the nighttime. They're more common in men with sickle cell disease. Knowing the type of priapism you have is key because the treatments are different. Symptoms depend on the type of priapism, but may include an erection lasting longer than four hours, a hard, painful erection in ischemic priapism, a softer, less painful erection in high flow or non-ischemic priapism, and these shorter but still painful erections that come and go in the nighttime with stuttering priapism. If you have an erection that won't go away, especially if it hurts, don't wait. Go to the emergency department before it's been four hours. The sooner we treat it, the better. Causes can include medications, such as trazodone, antipsychotics, or even erectile dysfunction injectable medications, sickle cell disease, or other blood or hematologic problems, injury to the penis or to the groin, and in some cases, simply don't know the cause. To find out what's going on, we'll have to do a physical exam, take a small blood sample from the penis to check oxygen levels, ask about your health history and any medications that you take, and run some additional blood tests to check for hematologic problems. Once we know the type, we can treat it the right way and quickly. For ischemic priapism, we may use injectable medicine to reverse the erection, may have to drain blood from the penis, and in some cases may even require surgery if less invasive maneuvers do not work. In prolonged cases, erectile issues can be permanent. We may start talking about the role of a future penile implant. Deciding early can help save length, function, and reduce the risk of surgery. For non-ischemic priapism, we often watch and wait. It may go away on its own. But if it does not, our interventional radiology colleagues do image-guided procedures to help resolve the situation. For stuttering priapism, we may give medicines to help stop and reduce the risk of future episodes. I know this can feel scary or even embarrassing, but priapism is a real medical condition. The most important thing is to get help fast, especially if it's painful or goes on for too long. Getting treatment early can protect your sexual health, and if there is damage, we still have options to help restore your sex life. Let's review. Priapism is an erection that lasts over four hours, not from arousal. Ischemic priapism is painful and urgent. Non-ischemic priapism is less common, occurs with trauma, and is usually painless. However, both of these can cause lasting damage if not treated. And early treatment works best to preserve erectile function. If you notice these symptoms, do not wait get help right away. And if you have questions or wanna talk more about this, come see me at UCLA The Men's Clinic. Whether it's stopping future episodes and recurrences or dealing with long-term effects from priapism, I'm here to help you. Thank you for watching.